In this video, we will begin working on the annotated bibliography for your research project. The purpose of an annotated bibliography is to organize your research in a meaningful way. An annotated bibliography is an organizing tool that helps researchers compile sources in one location and provides the researcher with a quick access to the information contained in each source. You have already used the Opposing Viewpoints database to choose a controversial topic and develop a working thesis statement. Now you will need to gather some sources. For this assignment, you are asked to locate three sources within the Opposing Viewpoints database that are useful in helping you support your thesis. If you need a refresher on how to locate Opposing Viewpoints, start off at the library homepage by clicking Quick Links on the IRSC homepage and then Libraries. On the library website, Click Databases by Subject. You will be asked to log in using your student ID as your borrower ID, and your PIN will be the month and day of your birthday in MMDD format. If you were born on July 4th, your PIN will be 0704. Opposing Viewpoints is located under Current Events. Once you're in the database, start your search process. For this example, let's say that your working thesis is related to the negative impact of social media on mental health. To begin your search, return to the Browse Issues button that you used when developing your thesis. From here, you can select Social Media to see an overview of all the different sources that Opposing Viewpoints contains related to the subject. You can then use the search within feature to search for keywords related to your thesis. Remember that you will not have success entering your entire thesis statement into the search box. Instead, try to select relevant keywords that are related to your argument. For this example, let's start with the keyword depression because it relates to the working thesis about the role social media plays in mental health. You often have to try several keywords to get relevant results. So don't be afraid to try other words such as isolation, anxiety, or mental health in this example. And remember, you can always contact a librarian for assistance. As you can see, this search brings a large number of results sorted by content type. If I click on news and browse my results, I find an article titled Just Released, Parents Guide to Social Media and Mental Health and I think this may help support my thesis statement. If I click on this title, I will be able to read the article in full, view related articles using the Explore feature, and email a copy of the article to myself. We highly recommend that you email articles relevant to your topic to yourself in order to refer back to them throughout this research process. On this page, you are also able to download the MLA citation that you will need to include in your annotated bibliography by using the cite feature. Remember, you will need to include three articles from opposing viewpoints in your annotated bibliography. If you need assistance during this process, contact a librarian. Once you have found and read your three articles, you are ready to create your annotated bibliography. The purpose of an annotated bibliography is to help you organize your research. During the research process, you will identify sources that support your working thesis statement, and the annotated bibliography is where you will demonstrate that you can explain the content of your sources, assess their usefulness to your project, and cite your sources correctly. Next, we will take a look at how to format your annotated bibliography using resources provided by IRSD libraries available on the MLA LibGuide. Please open a new window and keep this video up in a second window. Control N will open a new window. Then if you click restore down on each window, you can place them side by side. Pause the video and set up your computer so you can view this video and navigate to the MLA LibGuide in another window. Start off on the library homepage by clicking Quick Links on the IRSC homepage and then Libraries. Okay. 
On the library website, you will see all the available citation guides at the top of the page. Next, click on MLA. Here is the LibGuide devoted to MLA style. You will download the annotated bibliography template, which can be found under the tab MLA Annotated Bibliography. Click on the tab, then click on MLA 8th Edition Annotated Bibliography Template. Open the Word document and then select Enable Editing. This is a sample annotated bibliography that is formatted for you. You can save the template to your computer under a new name for your course assignment using Save As. Then simply type over the parts of the paper using your own information, such as your name, the course number, the date, and the title of the paper. You can get the MLA citation for each article from the database like we discussed previously, or if you email the article to yourself, it will also be located at the bottom of that email. Highlight the entire citation, leaving off the access date and then press Control C or right click and select copy. Now go to your MLA formatted annotated bibliography template, highlight one of the sample references given and right click to see the paste dialog box. Notice that there are several options for pasting the content you copied. This paper is formatted for you, so we need to select the merge formatting paste selection rather than any other options. The merge formatting option will keep the reference intact, bringing any italics over, but changing the font to match the rest of the paper in Times New Roman and 12 point. To use the research from the article in the text of your paper, you need to read the entire article and complete the annotation according to the instructions in your course assignment. Specifically, your assignment asks you to follow each citation with a brief annotation that summarizes and evaluates the sources. Your summary must identify the author's main point and articulate the main takeaway for the audience in approximately three to five sentences. Then explain the source's importance to your issue and how you plan to use the source in the final research essay. This should take approximately one to two sentences. When you have completed your annotated bibliography, there is an option on the MLA LibGuide where you can submit your work for feedback from a librarian who will verify your formatting and the credibility of your sources. To do this, click on the tab, Submit Your Paper for MLA Review. Upload your file and complete the information on the form. Please use your Rivermail address when completing the form so we can verify that you are an IRSC student. You are encouraged to contact a librarian at any point if you need help locating sources or formatting your annotated bibliography.